Oh, <laughs> hello. Good to see you again. I reckon you've come for some more gray balls. Oh, Grebel Babel, I wasn't expecting you today. I was planning on play babeling games on my viewer device. But I would hate for you to come all this way for nothing. Oh, I have an incredible thought idea. We can do both. Instead of watching the Grables, you'll play Babel. I'll drop you into five playable Grables, all relating to the same theme to explore and puzzle out. Okay, grab your game input units, Mabel, and get set. I'll be back at the end to see if you can grable out the theme. <laughs> Find anything to do yet, Bimo? Yeah, I'm bored. Not yet. Huh. Dance buddy! Hey, that's the record mom and dad used to play for me when I couldn't sleep. Don't break it! Ow! Nice going, Bimo. You wrecked the record player. Where did all this stuff come from? My tree hole. Huh? You know how you got that place in your head where you keep all that mind stuff you don't want to deal with? My vault. Yep. Well, I got a bunch of stuff too. Only it's real stuff. But I still don't want to deal with it. So, I just jam it in my tree hole. Sure is a lot of stuff. Yeah, I like stuff. I just don't like putting it away. <laughs> Ow! Hey, what's this? That's something that used to belong to Mom and Dad, back when they used to investigate monsters and stuff. Printed out adventures and missions for them to go on. Cool. Think it still works? Nah, I don't think so. It's pretty old. Bimo made the old monster machine go. Yay, Bimo! Whoa, check it out. Looks like one of those missions you were talking about. You know what I'm thinking? That I need a bigger tree hole? No, man. We should start using this thing to find adventures to go on, like Mom and Dad. Hey, yeah. Mom and Dad would want that. And you know how much I like police work. Kind of weird this thing just showed up and started working, though. I don't even remember putting it in my tree hole. Psh, whatevs. Weird stuff happens to us all the time. Oh, yeah. So what are we waiting for? Let's get all up in the investigating biz. Finn and Jake investigations. Yeah, boy. Yay! Bimo is an investigator. Um, I don't think you're ready for field work yet, Bimo. You could be our secretary. Yay! Bimo is a secretary. What should I do first, boss? How about cleaning up the office? This place is a mess. And see if you can fix the record player. It's totally jacked up. Can't have a post-investigation dance party if the record player's jacked up. Ugh. Look, there's a new case available on the ticker type. Babel Nable, it's Cooper here again. You Grables are probably new to playable Grables, I reckon. I'll offer you some help from time to time so you don't get your mind labels too confused. <laughs> Would you like some tutorial help from your pal, Cuba? Permission from the Candy Kingdom. PB denies any knowledge, but in Stachy's opinion, something to do with dark magic. The banana gods are tracking a wizard in the Candy Kingdom, and it won't be a... Wishing candy people could be tied to PB's life-making experiments, like the lemon grab incident back in... Our first case! Candy Kingdom on lockdown after citizens vanish. Whoa, Jake! We better get to the Candy Kingdom. It sounds serious. I've got a tutorial thingy for you. You want to see it? Hey, did you see that? We can stop those guys. How come? The princess said keep people out of the castle, not the moat. Oh yeah, I guess you're right. Hey, be careful down there. There's lots of broken glass. And one of the grates on those pipes that lead into the castle is loose and rusty. Wee, 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 wee,
I swear, I don't even have a criminal record. Somebody help! Jake, Abraka Daniel's in trouble. We have to help him. Would you like some tutorial help from your pal, Cuber? treasure we can carry. That's enough, you two. Abracadaniel is under arrest for kidnapping my citizens. No way. Abracadaniel wouldn't hurt a fly. Like, literally. For a wizard? Kind of lame. I'll be in the castle surveillance room if you want to see the roof. Meanwhile, Abracadaniel is going to the dungeon. Guards, take him away. Don't worry, Abracadaniel. This isn't over. Finn and Jake Investigations will totally clear your name. I think I've seen this snail before. Jake Investigations to the rescue! What can we do to help, Princess? Thanks for coming, guys. Sorry I had to arrest your friend. Why did you arrest Africa Daniel? There's no way he's a kidnapper! Sorry, Jake, but the facts don't lie. Facts, huh? What are these so-called facts? Well, someone trashed the cameras so that nothing could be recorded. We also found a note that says Wizards Rule. Abrak Daniel is the only wizard anyone saw in the Candy Kingdom last night. It doesn't take a genius to see that he's the kidnapper. Can we talk to Abrak Daniel? I think it's important to hear his side of the story, too. No way. He's being held in the dungeon, and he's going to stay there unless someone can prove him innocent. What'll it take to prove he's innocent? Look for clues and interview people. You can start in Peppermint Butler's room across the hall. He was one of the kidnapped people. I'll be here if you find anything. I've got a tutorial thingy for you. You want to see it? The kidnappers had to attract us in here, Jake. Yeah! Maybe they left a leaf trail. We can follow it and see how they got in and out. There were a bunch of leaves in the hallway earlier, but I swept them up. They led toward the kitchen. Nice. We should go check it out. You won't be able to go anywhere until you solve the mystery, but even then you might run into trouble. The guard inside the kitchen is really strict. Here's my business card. If he stops you when you're in the kitchen, just give it to him and say Banana Guard 182 says it's cool. Sweet. Thanks, BG 182. Hey, GG! Did you guys notice anything suspicious on the night of the kidnapping? Well, we saw Abraka Daniel enter the Candy Kingdom, but we didn't think anything of it. Not long after that, I heard a crash and saw him sneak into Peppermint Butler's room through this window. Did you see any other wizards around? No, just Abraka Daniel. Look at this mess. He must have spilled those jelly beans when he broke in. Those guys sure are big. Hi. 
Starchy, you know anything about the missing candy people? Maybe so. Last night, Starchy was walking the halls, sliding pamphlets for the Veritas Brigade under people's doors. Did you see something? Well, no, but as I was sliding a pamphlet under Peppermint Butler's door, I heard a struggle inside. Sounded like a kidnapping. You heard Peppermint Butler getting kidnapped, and you didn't help him? Sounds kind of fishy. Now hold on! I wanted to help. I really did. I tried to bust through the door when he called for help, but, well, Starchy's not as young as he used to be. Thanks, Starchy. This has been very helpful. You betcha. I just hope you two can get to the bottom of this mess. What's the scoop, B-Guard? Ben! I think I discovered something really important. There are no strawberry jelly beans. Not one. Pretty crazy, huh? How's the investigation going? Did you find anything? I think we might have solved the mystery and cleared Abraka Daniel's name. Take a look at the clues we found. Sorry, Finn. I'm not convinced. Come back when you have more evidence. Finn! Jake! How's the investigation going? Did you find anything? Not yet. We're still working on it. Um, okay. Well, come back when you have something to show me. Somebody spilled jelly beans all over the floor. And onto those pamphlets. investigation going did you find anything I think Jake and I found all the evidence we need to solve the mystery and clear Abraka Daniel's name of course how could I have missed it Finn you totally proved that Abraka Daniel is innocent um we did of course here let me walk you through it what fell on the floor while the kidnapping was taking place Starchy's pamphlet. He was sliding it under Peppermint Butler's door when he heard the kidnapping. Yes, exactly. And what item do we know fell on the floor when Abraka Daniel entered the room? The jelly beans. They were on top of the pamphlets, so they had to have fallen after the pamphlet was already there. Right. Okay, so the jelly beans were on top of the pamphlet. What does that mean? that Abraka Daniel had to come in after the kidnapping. Otherwise, the jelly beans he knocked over would have been under the pamphlet. Exactly. I'm sorry I doubted you, Finn. Abraka Daniel is free to go. Go down to the dungeon, get the key from the guards, and release him. It's important that you stay inside the Candy Kingdom until the crisis is over, though. The Gumball Guardians will zap anybody who tries to leave while we're on lockdown. Mathematical! <laughs> hey, the princess said you would have the key to the cell. Um, I did, but me and my buddy, he was on the last shift. We were playing catch with the keys, and well, they got stuck on the ledge up there. I get them for you, but I'm kind of new, and I don't start climbing to reach high stuff training until next week. Sorry, Finn. That won't work.
Thanks for getting me out, Finn. I was really afraid that I'd be rotting in that candy prison forever. No problem, man. It's what we do. We knew you weren't guilty. Yeah, but why were you prowling around the Candy Kingdom? It did look kind of shady, what with the missing people and all. I wasn't bothering anybody. All I was doing is looking for my favorite cake plate. I lent it to Peppermint Butler a while ago, but I need it back right away. I heard about a really cool wizard party that's about to happen. It's so cool that a whole delegation of people from the Candy Kingdom were brought in as guests. Delegation of candy people? Dude, those are the people who are missing. And somehow, I don't think they're guests at this so-called party. Sounds like some wizards are up to no good. Oh, I guess I really didn't think this through. Abraka Daniel, can you take us to the party? Sure, but not without my cake plate. It's bad manners not to bring something, and I'm not putting my famous rainbow fluff cake on just any cake plate. Fine, where is it? I'm not sure. I tried to find it in Peppermint Butler's room, but the place was a mess. I was gonna try Chet's house too, but I didn't get a chance because of, well, being arrested and all. Okay, we'll start looking there. The faster we find it, the faster we can get out of here and find those people. Dude, don't forget that PB has the kingdom on lockdown. We'll need to find a way out. Oh yeah, I almost forgot about that. Well, as soon as you two find my cake plate and a way to get out of the kingdom, I'll take you to the party. I'll wait for you here. Good luck. All right. Cool. Be gentle, Jake. You don't want to wake up the bees. Hey, gnomes! I got something for you! Ah, bees! You... You did this! Prepare to defend yourselves! The note has a picture of a candle holder and says something about a secret room. What secret room?
Would you like some tutorial help from your pal, Huber? Hands off the science stuff, dude. Science is not your thing. That's one nice bottle of soapy, bubbly water you made there. Don't touch me. What's this? Banana Guard 182 says it's cool? Oh, I love that guy. He's awesome. If he says you're cool, who am I to stop you? The updraft is blowing these leaves up to the hole in the tree up above us. I think you might be on to something, Finn. That thingy isn't doing much on its own. Hey! It's one of those bubble blower things! I thought that looked familiar! Not at all creepy. Uh, Chet? What's going on? He's too stunned to talk, man. My investigative mind has figured out what happened. Obviously, Peppermint Butler was kidnapped from this room, and whoever it was didn't care about Chet. So, what were Chet and Peppermint Butler even doing in this creepy room? I don't know, man. They're candy people. I don't get candy people sometimes. Yeah, I know what you mean. Well, Chet looks pretty comfortable. I guess we should just leave him here. Let's keep investigating. We've got your cake plate, and we know how to get out of here. You ready? Yes! Party time! Um, he knows it's not a party, right? Shh, don't tell him. Look, he's so excited just to be included. Wizard City, here we come! Wizard City. First thing we should do is go to that Ron James guy's shop. He might be able to. Abracadaniel, you are guilty of sharing wizard secrets. No! Wait! I... Uh... Wizards only, fools. Uh-oh. Doesn't get much better than that.
Would you like some tutorial help from your pal, Cuber? Got it. Good thinking. I can use Stick Africa Daniel to crank the crank. ever mentioned it, but Wizard City is wizards only, fools. I'm gonna have to see proof that you're magical in nature. Well, we've got this cake plate. Whoa! That's... that's the disc of ultimate wizardry. Only the most powerful wizards in Ooh are allowed to carry it. The disc hasn't been seen since the potluck of the Great Wizard Council a decade ago. Cake plate. Ha! The most powerful wizards always have the best sense of humor. Um, yeah. So, like, we can go in? Of course! The bearer of the Disc of Ultimate Wizardry and his friends are always welcome. Enjoy your stay! Thanks! Come on, Jake. Let's find Ron James's shop and see if he can help us get to the bottom of this kidnapping case. Yoink! <laughs> Ew! Why did you pick that up? It's an adventure, man. You pretty much have to pick up everything. Doesn't get much better than that. <laughs> you stink! Losers! about this in advance. Ow! Not cool, man! Just take the paint! I'm out of here! I kind of feel bad about that. Oh well, at least we can take the paint now. I'll take that.
That's a great idea. Painting the mop head black makes it look like a beard. And we can still have a nice mop handle we can use for other stuff. Good idea. The slime will make the beard stick to Rock Wizard's face. Sup, Rock Wizard? Ah, hey, no cutting in line. Chill, man. We're just talking. Why are you standing in line? Rod James only sees one person at a time, and the guy who's in there now has been here all day. So, what do you need from Ron James? Some mysterious amulet of power? Fire breathing potion? Cool new wand? Skin moisturizer? Well, I'm just saying. Actually, I am here for a potion that will let me grow a beard. Come again now? All of the best wizards have impressive beard. I want an impressive black beard that will be the envy of wizards far and wide. So, if Jake and I get you a beard, you'd let us take your spot in line? Ha <laughs> ha! Certainly! But impressive black beards don't just fall out of the sky if you stand around waiting for one. I know, I've tried that. Don't sweat it, Rock Wizard. We'll find you that beard. Come on, Finn. Okay, Rock Wizard, try this baby on for size. Oh, my glob. This is truly the most impressive beard in all of Ooh. And it smells of sweet, clean soap and freshly painted works of art. Babe, please take this wizard coin. I was going to spend it on that beard potion, but this is so much better. Thank you. Always happy to help. See ya. Cool. Cool. Crowbar? That'll come in handy. That's not working. Quit trying to get stuff for free. Hey man, so what you doing? Waiting in line? Huh? Who goes there? Wizards only. Where are you? So, let me guess. You're waiting in line to get a replacement for that cracked eye of yours. Yeah, I can't see a thing. Ron James has the best replacement eye gems. But I've been standing in this line for hours. That guy in there is taking forever. Well, me and Jake would be happy to help. Helping is what we do. Really? Oh, that would be great. Then I could get back to work turning non-wizards into sticks. Yeah. I've been meaning to ask, why do you guys do that? That's classified, and a wizard would know the answer. You're not a non-wizard, are you? Because if you are... Um, we were just testing you. You passed. We'll get to looking for that gem. Sorry. We'll see what we can find. Oh, man, I did it again. Um, we'll just go. Wait here. Here you go, dude. Try this on for size. Hey, I can see again. Non-wizards beware. Here, you can have the cracked eye, Jim. I don't need it anymore. Cool, thanks. Mathematical. Nice. Hey, Flambo, what are you waiting in line for? Hey, gotta go to the little Flambo's room, know what I mean? Man, do I gotta go. Jeez, that's rough, man. What's the holdup in there? It's some kind of private meeting. It's been hours. My teeth are floating, if you know what I mean. Isn't there someplace else you can go? Ron Jenks has the only public restroom in town. All the rest of them hoity-toity private VIP magical restrooms. You need a staff of relief to find one, and good luck finding one of those. Don't worry, Flambeau. We'll take care of it. Come on, Jake. Yeah, VIP magical bathroom time. Much! A magic brush! We can dust stuff now. Kinda makes an impressive staff, if I do say so. 
There's a hole. Looks like the one that staff over there is stuck in. Schmauza! That worked. But what does it do? Check it out. When the light reflected through both the staffs, the hidden magical VIP bathroom Flambeau told us about appeared. Let's go tell him we found it. Finn, not now. I'm trying to concentrate. It's okay, man. We found the VIP bathroom. It's over there by the notice board. Finn, Jake, I owe you one. Gotta go, bye. Well, that's one less person in line. All right, sweet. Hey, a happy little snail. Yeah, so I'm invited to the... Hey, Gunter, come hang with us for a while. I know. We've been talking about it all day. I know we're bros and all, but I'm on the call. Stargy can't come to the phone now. Stargy's busy. Hey, it gave the wizard coin back. Cool. Hello? Finn, I know it's you. Just give me some space, okay? are going back. Cool. the wizard coin back. Cool. Willamette Butler's office. Willamette Butler speaking. Hello? Get the bottle for us. Yeah, wait! Don't smash it! Oh, man! What? 
great. Now the wizard police are coming. Thanks a lot, Gunter. an impressive beard you got there, Rock Wizard. Hand it over and nobody gets hurt! No, not my new beard. Please, anything but that. Why would you even want it? That ain't none of your business. Now hand it over. I ain't asking again. Hey, no! Leave Rock Wizard's impressive beard alone! Rock Wizard out. Enough to stick the pieces together and make a whole bottle. Bet nobody even noticed the cracks.
Ice King? You're the one who's been holding up the line? He's been here for eight hours. Really? Wow. Time sure flies when you're having fun hanging with your wizard bros. I'm seriously rethinking my one customer at a time policy. It kinda is a silly policy. Ice King, who invited you to this wizard party? Well, I kinda invited myself, but an invitation's an invitation, right? We gotta get into that party, man. It's a matter of life or death. Kinda. We're investigating a kidnapping. Hey, sounds exciting. This party's kinda on the down low, but hey, we're all bros, so I can maybe take you guys as my plus two. Well, that's awesome. Thanks, Ice King. There's just one thing. Everybody's supposed to bring snacks. Old Ron here can really talk your ear off, so I haven't had time to get any. Bring back a few good party snacks and we'll head on over. You got it, Ice King. Come on, Jake. It's snack time! Waza, Wizard Bros. Need something magical? Or y'all's here to recycle bottles? Recycle bottles? Yeah, brah. We're trying to go green. I use a lot of bottles. You get one wizard coin for each bottle you bring in for recycling. That sounds like a deal, dude. Bring me a bottle and we can do business. A bottle, nice. Here you go, bros, one wizard coin. Have a good one. Um, Huntress Wizard? <sighs> what do you want? Nothing. That is, um, we were wondering... We want your bag of chips. What? No way. I'm hungry. Tell you what. If you want my chips, you better get me a snack. Like a pizza with anchovies or something. No prob. So, where's the pizza shop? There isn't one. Just order delivery from Sassy's in the Candy Kingdom. Numbers on the notice board right there. Oh, word. We'll check it out. Thanks, Huntress Wizard. Whatever, Donkus. Phone number to a pizza place. Nice. Three cheese pizzas. Oh, and one with anchovies. I can't believe Huntress Wizard wants anchovies. Gross. It's not like you're eating it, man. You got it. We'll be right over. Here's your pizza, guys. Whoa, that's a fast service. Thanks. Hey, Wizards only pizza fool. Wait, I was just... Have a nice day, gentlemen. Hmm. Well, the important thing is, we got our pizza. Um, I believe I said anchovy pizza. Duh. I smell anchovies. No way, you actually got me pizza? Complete with anchovies, just like you wanted. Yeah, now how about you hand over the chips? Sure, no prob. Pizza beats chips any day. Oh man, the bottle of cola is stuck. You got the cola! Nice! You guys find those snacks yet? A drink! Good thinking! No party's complete without a fizzy drink. That's a great start, but we should probably bring more. Chips are always a great party snack. Looks like somebody's already been eating them, but well, what the hey? Beggars can't be choosers. Great! One more snack ought to put us over the top and really impress them. Cola, chips, and pizza. That ought to do it. 
Meet me back here at nightfall. That's when the party's supposed to start. Algebraic! Awesome! All right, Ice King, we're here. Where's the party? Oh, hey, guys. The party's downstairs in the secret society hall. There's a secret door that leads to it. It's really cool. Now, all we need to do is find it and figure out how to open it. You guys should get on that. Aw, oh, man! covered in oil, that rod will make a great torch. I probably shouldn't turn it. I don't know what it does. Nice! You made a torch! That was easy. I guess this valve wheel thing will come in handy for something. You ever get the feeling there's more to these snails than meets the eye? I think this controls something, but it's missing the wheel thing. It's like a glove. There, nice and tight. Hey, the sewer grate at the other end of the path is opening. Algebraic. Nice. Candy peeps? It's Finn and Jake! They've come to rescue us! Yep! Finn and Jake investigations to the rescue! It's what we do! What happened to you guys? The wizards came to our homes and said there was an exclusive party in Wizard City that we were invited to. When we got here, they locked us in this cell. Between you and me, I don't think there's really a party. Um, yeah, no. What do they want with you? They say they want our sweet, sweet magic, some dark, strange power they detected in the Candy Kingdom. One by one, they've taken us to their ritual chamber, and subjected us to all sorts of weird tests. Where are the wizards now? They took Peppermint Butler to the ritual chamber for testing. He's the only one they haven't tested yet. He looked very nervous. You have to save him. Do you know where they keep the key to the cell? They keep their keys on them at all times. One of the Marshmallow Kids managed to grab one, but it's not the right key. Here, you take it. Hey, wait. Why is Slime Princess here? She's not a candy person. She was visiting the kingdom when the kidnappings took place. To be fair, she does look a bit like a jelly bean. Huh, yeah, I guess she does. Don't you worry, Mr. Cream Puff. Me and Jake will defeat those wizards and get all you guys out of here and back to your homes. Thanks, Finn and Jake. We'll just wait here. Um, not that we have a choice.
Thought you said we'd be tapping into some sweet, sweet magic. Give it time. We've got to try them all. We tried all of them, except for the peppermint one. I think we got played again, man. Maybe there isn't any sweet magic. I have to get closer to reach that chain. Great! I should be able to grab the chain with this hook. should be unlocked. I'll just go inside and smooth things over. You guys hang here. Hey guys, I'm here for the party. What's happening? Some good whiz biz. Ice King, what the blood? We didn't invite you. Really? I thought my invite got lost in the mail or something. Hey, let's talk over here. I got some bros outside. I don't want them to get all weirded out. Apparently, we need to have a chat about what secret meeting means. Again. Get over here. But uh, sure, hang on for a sec. Sorry, guys. Wizards only. My bad. See ya. Ice King, for the last time, stop messing around in our wizard biz. Aw, but I just want to party with you guys. There is no party. Now, be quiet so we can concentrate. Yeah. Remember what happened last time we messed up? Oh, all right. Man, tough room. Now, where were we? Right. Incantations. Then, we get Buffo's wand and pull the sweet, sweet magic out of the peppermint guy. Oh, come on! Forest Wizard, Laser Wizard, and Bufo are about to get down to some serious whizbits. I prop who knows what kind of stuff they're doing at Peppermint Bumper. Well, this is a pretty humiliating way to treat a fellow wizard. Why would I do that? Ow! Hey, thanks for letting me loose, guys. What are we doing? More magic? Come on, Jake. The wizards are distracted. Yeah, let's get to that wand stand before they notice we're here. I don't think so. The wand case is locked. It was tight, tight. I did the knot spell myself. That ain't working, dude. All right. Now let's swap out the wands. Fine. I'll put him in the cage. Oh, I'm starting to think you guys don't want me around. Now, where were we? Ah, uh, yes. Bufo. Your wand. Yes. Time to extract the sweet, sweet magic. Peppermintum Cabo Magic Arise on my phone. Yowza! Whoa, that worked a lot better than I expected. Yeah, you ain't kidding. Hey, Abracadaniel, you okay? Yes, I, I I think so. Hey, I've still got your cake plate. Turns out it's some kind of disc thing that proves you're a super powerful wizard. Guess it's good for cakes too, though. Keep it. I've already proven I'm a super powerful wizard. Look at what I've done. I saved the day with my awesome magic. Um, actually, dude, you're a stick and... Nah, man, let him have this one. Let's wrap this case up! Ice King, search the wizard for the keys and let the candy people out of the dungeon. Me and Jake will make sure the exit's clear. We're free! Thank you, friend and Jake. Thank you. See you guys later. Well, Jake, I'd say that's a successful end to our first case. You said it. You're gonna have to be one smart kidnapper to escape the justice of Finn and Jake investigations. Later, Ice King! Bye, guys. Great party.